No thank you を使ったことはありますか義務教育では丁寧に断るときに使うと教わったかもしれませんが、実はアメリカ人は使わない Hey, Yuzuki, you wanna do a lesson? No thanks. は<笑>皆さん、こんにちは。アーサーです。今回の動画では、1、No thank you とアメリカ人が言わない理由。2、代わりに使えるおすすめのフレーズを4つを学びましょう。よろしくお願いします。No thank you is a phrase that people learn in traditional English education, but it's not a phrase that native speakers and particularly Americans use much. Now, why is that? Let's look at why people don't say no thank you. Well, it's not grammatically wrong, and if you ask native speakers what they say when politely declining something, they'll say no thank you. But what lots of native speakers say is correct, and what they actually say is very different a lot of the time. When I was first learning Japanese, I remember I learned that kudasai equals please. And so I used kudasai whenever I would use please. But one day I was at a sushi restaurant with my host family in Osaka. I remember talking to my Japanese teacher the day before asking how to order in Japanese, and she said, nani nani kudasai. So when we got to the sushi restaurant, I was prepared to order. I was so nervous, so I ordered salmon kudasai. And maybe it was the way I said it, but my host mother corrected me and told me to say onegaishimasu because it sounds nicer. And it's the same thing with no thank you. You know, no thank you is very direct and feels a little bit tsumetai, a little bit cold. And Americans have this image of being very direct and wearing their emotions on their sleeves. Wear emotions on your sleeves とは自分の気持ちを隠さないで周りの人にすぐにバレる性格という意味です。海外では手を使って会話することが多いため袖が常に見える状態ですので袖につけるイコール見えやすいという意識になったそうです。例えば He wears his emotions on his sleeves. You always know what he is thinking. This. Americans are known for wearing their emotions on their sleeves, of talking directly. And you can see this in various situations in Japanese and English. In Japanese, you say, Urusai, in English, shut up. Ojama shimashita, bye bye. O sewa ni narimashita, thank you for everything. In Japanese, it is common to make a comment about the situation, and the listener is supposed to read between the lines. Kuki o yomu. Anata wa urusai. Dakara s h i z u k a ni shite. 私は邪魔になったので、お家を出ます。お世話になったので、感謝の気持ちでいっぱいです。But in English, it is very direct. There's no 何々ので。The phrases share the speaker's thoughts directly. No interpretation. But words have power. And if you say something negative too directly, that can hurt the other person. And that's why, especially Americans, don't use no thank you too often. It's too direct. It stings a bit. Hey, Yuzuki, you want to do an English lesson? No, thanks. Huh? What? What? You don't, you don't like me anymore? Asa, kangai sugi janai? It's more kangai sugi ruke do. The only time you really say no thank you is when you're talking with someone you don't know very well and you want to be firm in your stance, telling them very clearly no. Hey, Yuzuki, let's study vocabulary for two hours. Eh? Oh, come on, let's study vocabulary for two hours. No thanks.、Oh. Or when you're talking to an employee at a store or something. Oh, hello, welcome to the phone store. Would you like to buy an old used phone? No thanks. That's、ね、funny. But even then, people will add in cushion words to make it sound nicer. Like, welcome to the phone store. Would you like this old used phone? No thanks, but thanks for the offer. The most important thing to remember is this. Just because the dictionary meaning is the same doesn't mean it has the same feeling, the same image, what I call messages. And this is the key to speaking English naturally. We need to focus on the message of the English, not just the words. English isn't about getting correct answers on a quiz, it's about sharing your heart, sharing the messages. And that's why I started this channel. You know, through this channel, I want to bring videos where you don't just learn English words and phrases and grammar, but you learn the sense behind English, that native sense. And if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to this channel. I'm going to show you how to do this channel.
So what phrases share that message better? Well, let's look at four of them now. The first phrase is, I'm good. You know, the Japanese phrase that is closest to this is, Daijoubu desu, maybe. I'm not sure. If you have a better phrase, let me know. And this is especially used in situations where someone offers you something, maybe at a restaurant, or someone offers you something. And it means that you are good with what you have right now, and you don't need anything. Hey, Yuzuki, do you want to buy my book? I'm good, thanks. Oh, but wait, how does I'm good mean a negative? Well, you know, it's like daijoubu desu. You know, daijoubu desu is a positive word. And here's something I found interesting. You know, as you'll see with this phrase and some other phrases I share, the Japanese and the English phrases are actually really similar. Even though Japanese and English are very different as languages, you know, they are both two sides of the same coin. They are both tools for communication, for sharing your messages. And even if the words themselves are different, the underlying messages, the images, the feelings are the same. So in some situations, you'll have similar phrasing to share the same message. That's just how language works. So in this case of daijoubu desu, you can pretty much translate it directly, which leads us to our second sentence. I'll have to think about it. Matawa, I'll think about it. This is pretty much the same as the Japanese phrase, kento shimasu. Now, what's the difference between I'll think about it and I'll have to think about it? Well, adding in have gives a sense of gimukang. It's like in Japanese when you say, ah, soro soro kaere na kya, versus, ah, soro soro kaere ne. In the first sentence, the nuance is, kaere taku nai kedo kaere na kya ikenai kara bye bye. But in the second sentence, it could mean, mo kaere kibun ni natta kara bye bye. You know, the first sentence feels nicer, a little bit more polite, right? Hey, Yuzuki, you want to do a vocabulary lesson? Mm, I think about it. Yeah, they're not that fun. The third phrase is, I'm not sure about that. Nihongo ni chokuyaku suru to kakujutsu dewa nai kana to omoimasu. You know, this is similar to I'll think about it, but it's a bit more decided. You know, I'll think about it is less decided, but I'm not sure about it is already starting on that negative path, you know, saying no. Hey, Yuzuki, let's do a vocabulary lesson. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. Your vocab's already pretty good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the final phrase is, I'll have to pass this time. Matawa, I'm gonna pass this time. Chokuyaku wa konkai wa miokurimasu. You know, this is a good sentence because it doesn't address your feelings at all. It just shares the results of them. And so this is great when you have made a firm decision not to do something, but you don't want to share that you don't want to do it. You know, you want to be mindful of the other person's feelings. Well, it depends on how you say it. Hey, Yuzuki, you want to do a vocabulary lesson? Mm, I passed this time. Okay, but what about next No, thanks. Oh. You really don't like vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> also, by adding this time, it can mean that other times would be fine, just not this time. So it's a bit more open. All right, matome ni hairimashou. Ichi, no thank you wa straight sugite aite o kizutsukeru kanosei ga aru kara abunai desu. Ni, ei tango no hyomen teki no imi dewa natsu, sono kotoba ga tsutawaru kimochi to aite no kimochi o ishiki shi nagara manabu to yori shizen na eigo no iikata ni diaimasu. San, hoka ni tsukaeru o susume no phrase wa I'm good, I'll have to think about it, I'm not sure about that, I'll have to pass this time desu. 今回のレッスンではネイティブの感覚で自然な英語が学べたのですが、多くの方に問題があります。ほとんどの英語学習者はフレーズ、文法をたくさん学ぶのに、突然に外国人の対面するってなると、はぁ頭が真っ白になって言葉が出てこないという問題になってしまいます。僕も同じく日本語を4年間勉強したのに、実際に日本に行ったら全く喋れなかったです。でもその辛い経験のおかげで実際に話せる鍵を見つけて、日本語で気軽に会話ができるようになりました。でその僕と数百人の僕の生徒が話せるようになった鍵が気になる方のために無料ガイドにまとめてみました。もしあなたは今の英語学習で満足している場合はぜひこちらの動画をご覧ください。でももしあなたは今の英語学習じゃ足りない、実際に話せるようになりたいと思っているなら無料ガイドをぜひご利用ください。And you can get the free guide by clicking in the link below this video. Anyways, thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy your English adventures. 
これからも一緒に世界とつながりましょう。See you next time!